This is the second video in the Division Standard Algorithm Basics series. In this video, I'm going to be focusing more exclusively on the standard algorithm itself uh, and breaking down the easy steps that you need to learn and remember in order to be able to solve uh, division problems using the standard algorithm. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate with the problem 96 divided by 4. So uh, in this problem, first I need to write the problem in the standard algorithm form. And I'm going to put the dividend, which I'm going to underline in green here, the dividend, uh, inside of this little, you know, half a rectangle here. And I'm going to put the divisor, which I'm going to underline in blue, on the outside. So this problem I would read 96 divided by 4. Kind of read it from the inside out. Uh, and so the first step when we're solving the uh, division problems with the standard algorithm is we're going to need to do some division. It seems kind of silly to say, but we are, in fact, going to need to do some division. But we're not going to tackle this whole big number, 96, all on its own. We're going to focus only on specific place values one at a time. So we're going to start at the largest place value, which is the tens right here. And the question we need to ask ourselves is what is... 9 divided by 4. So we're thinking in our head, hmm, what is 9 divided by 4? Another way you can think of this is how many groups of 4 could I make if I had like, let's say, 9 dots? Okay, so we can picture that in our head. One other way we could think of is how close can we get to 9 making uh, or with multiples of 4 without going over? So in this case, if I look at my multiples of 4 right over here, I see that, well, one group of 4 is 4, two groups of 4 is 8, and 3 is 12. 12 is too much, so can't be three groups. So it looks like it's going to be two groups of 4. So I can go ahead, and since I can see that I can make two groups of 4 uh, fit into 9, I'm going to write that 2 above the 9. Now when we're doing the standard algorithm, it's really important that we keep everything in place value order. So the two, since I divided nine divided by four, and I can make, and it's two, and with some left over, I'm gonna put the two right above the nine. So uh, that was the first step, is dividing. So I'm gonna erase all this uh, memory stuff that I had here. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. And, and we're gonna move on to the next step. So the next step, it's gonna seem kinda silly, we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply this 2 times our divisor, 4. And this is going to tell us how many of the tens we were able to put into groups. So 2 times 4, in this case, is 8. So if you're familiar with your multiplication facts, uh, that part's going to be pretty easy for you. So the next step is we are going to subtract. We're going to subtract what we had, how many tens we had previously, which was 9 right here. And we're going to subtract this 8 that we were able to put into groups. So 9 minus 8 is 1. And we're almost through the whole process here because the last step is we are going to bring down the next place value. So we're going to bring down the ones place here and write it next to this 1 that we had left over. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to start this process over again to draw some nice beautiful arrows there to show that we're starting over. So once we bring the next number down, we start back at the top, right up here with dividing. Except for this time, we're going to look at, we're going to use this full number right here, 16, uh, to divide. And so we ask ourselves, well, how many groups of 4 can we make with 16? Or what is 16 divided by 4? And the answer to that is 4. And so we've done the division, so now we're going to multiply. So we're going to need to not multiply 2 by 4, but we're going to need to multiply, let's see if I can get this out of the way. Great. Uh, 4 by 4 this time. So we're multiplying 4 times 4. In that case, that's 16. We're going to write that below what we had before. We've done that step. Now we're going to subtract. 16 minus 16 is 0. And the last step here is, is to bring down, but if we look right here, there's nothing really to bring down, so we know we're done for right now. So in this case, we have a zero right here. So since we have a zero, that means that we were able to divide 96 by 4 evenly, so there's nothing left over. 
So we have an answer or a quotient of 24. So let's do one more example here, and I'm going to kind of go through the steps a little bit quicker, um, talking through them as I go. So uh, let's make up a problem here really quick. I'm going to do a two-digit divided by a one-digit. Let's do 73 divided by uh, 2. I wanted to, I'm going to this problem is going to have a remainder, so we can see what happens when we have remainders. So I'm going to rewrite the four steps next to the problem here so I can always remember what I'm going to be doing when I'm doing the standard algorithm. So I'm going to write this in the standard algorithm form, 73 divided by 2, the dividends on the inside, divisors on the outside. So I start by looking at this 7 right here. So I, And then I ask myself, hmm, what's 7 divided by 2? Or another way of thinking of that is how many groups of 2 could I fit into 7? And if I think about that, I can make 3 groups of 2. It's not exactly even, but I can make 3 because 4 would be too much. So I've done my division. Check. Uh, now I need to multiply. So I'm going to multiply in this case 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So I've done my multiplication. Check. Now that I've done my multiplication, I need to subtract. So I'm going to subtract 7 minus 6. That gives me 1. Did my subtraction. Now I'm going to bring down the next place value, the 1's place. So I bring this 3 down next to the 1. Check. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm going to start again. So I'm going to start this process over one more time, except for this time, I'm going to be looking at the number, using the number 13, not the number 7. So if I th think of the number 13, I ask myself, hmm, what is 13 divided by 2? Or how many groups of 2 could I fit if I had 13 somethings? Doesn't matter. So when I think about that, I think, hmm, well, I can make 6 groups of 2. That fits into 13 without going over, so I've done my division. Then I'm going to multiply. This time I'm multiplying 6 times 2, which is 12, and I write the answer below the 13. So I've done my multiplication. Now I'm going to subtract. 13 minus 12 is going to be 1. Did my subtraction. I look over, and there's nothing right here, so I don't have anything to bring down, so I know I'm done. So now, if you look at this problem here, unlike the last problem where we had a 0 left over, which meant it divided equally, 73 divided by 2 does not divide equally. So we have 1 down here. We can't make another group of 2 if we only have 1, 1 left. So in this case, that is going to be a remainder. So we write our remainder next to our quotient up top. And so we get an answer of 36 with a remainder of 1. So hopefully after watching this video, you feel a little bit more comfortable with the steps of the uh, division standard algorithm. So if you ever get lost or confused when you're working on your problem sets or uh, your homework or anything like that, you can always come back and watch this video uh, and refresh yourself on the steps for the division standard algorithm. Thanks for watching.